All the templates we've looked at in Visual Studio include a basic splash screen. It really couldn't be simpler to create your own though. All you really need to do is modify the splashscreen.png file that you find in the assets folder or create your own new image. I find it easiest just to copy and modify the existing PNG file. It's really simple. You just delete the little square with an X and add your own content to that PNG file. It's important to understand that the size of your splash screen must be 620 by 300 pixels. It can be a PNG or a JPEG file. And you can also specify the background color. You can use either a hex value or a well-known string name like Alice Blue or Antique White, or if you've done any work with HTML colors, you recognize those names. For a list of colors, here's a URL you can go to, which lists out all the possible colors that you can use and their exact spellings. Well, that's all we really need to know. So let's replace the square with the X in it with the AppDev logo as the splash screen on our browser application. I've loaded the sample project browser app into Visual Studio again, and in order to add a new splash screen, the best place to start is just to make a copy of the existing splash screen. So I'll find splash screen.png in the assets folder, right click and choose copy, then go to the assets folder, right click and choose paste. Now I have a copy of that splash screen and I'll rename it as app dev splash screen dot png. If I open that for editing, you'll see it's just that plain square with an X in it. I don't want any of that. So I'll select all of it and delete it. So now I have an empty PNG file. I want to get the app dev logo and put it there. So I'll just go over to where I've stored that and open it in Visual Studio. There we go. And let me select everything, select all, and then copy it. I've copied it to the clipboard. Let's go over here and paste it in. There we go. Easiest way to get it there. So I'll make that a little bigger and I'll save this and close everything down. So now I have a newly modified splash screen. And of course, if you look at it carefully, you'll see that its size is 620 by 300. Those are the required coordinates. So we're all set and ready to go on that. I need to go down to package.appxmanifest and edit that file. You can see here a listing for the splash screen. I want to use my new one instead, the Aptive splash screen, and I can specify here a background color. I'll use Alice Blue because it happens to be a color whose name I know. And let's save this and put it away. Now watch carefully. This goes quickly. But if I press F5, you'll see that new splash screen appear. Boy, that was fast. But hopefully you could pause it and see that we did actually get our own splash screen with the AppDev logo with an Alice Blue background.